Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the 0xc00007b application error you might be getting. And you'll get a little pop up box depending on what executable you're running. And it'll typically say that the application was unable to start correctly. And it will prompt you to click OK to close the application without giving you any kind of recourse to solving this issue. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys a couple programs that are provided from Microsoft completely free and legit that should hopefully resolve your issue without too much difficulty. So we're going to just jump right into it and you can open up any web browser you want. I'm going to personally just open up Google Chrome here. Well, it appears I do not have it here. So I'm just going to open up Microsoft Edge. I probably do have Google Chrome somewhere. I probably could have just typed it in, but I'd just rather just make it a little quicker. Download DirectX. I'm going to hit enter. So the best match if you're using Google should say download DirectX and user runtime web installer from official source. That's what I'm assuming this is going to be saying. So you want to click on that. So now for the web installer, you want to select the right language you want to use. I'm going to select English. You can read through some of the system requirements. Keep in mind, it believes you can use Windows XP Service Pack 2 and newer. So that's good. And you see details about the file. It is a little bit older, but it will work on Windows 10. Even though it doesn't say it here, it says Windows 7, just they haven't updated this description. But it should work on Windows 8 and Windows 10 as well. So you want to click download. If you want to uncheck this box, this is MSN default homepage and Bing default search engine. You're more than welcome to do that. It's not required for this download. So I'm going to deselect it. And then I'm going to select no thanks and continue. So depending on what web browser you're using, the download might look a little bit different, but just follow the procedure you will with any file from the internet, just save it, and then we're going to run it. So you're going to see, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your computer? should be called the DirectX SDK, Verified Publisher Microsoft Corporation. So it's yes. So I'm going to minimize that of our web browser here because we're not necessarily done with it. If you want to close out of it, I mean, it's at your own discretion. But anyway, we're going to get an installer here saying, Welcome to Setup for DirectX. The DirectX Setup Wizard guides you through the installation of DirectX runtime components. Please read the following license agreement. Press the page down key to see the rest of the agreement. You must accept the agreement to continue the setup. I would recommend that you do read the agreement, but assuming you've glanced through it, I'm going to select that I have accepted the agreement. And then I'm going to click Next. Now, I personally do not want to install the Bing bar, so I'm going to deselect that. And then I'm going to hit Next again. Again, it's all optional. You don't have to install the Bing bar, but I, mean, I don't know why you'd want to do that if you're on this video. But anyway, we're going to select Next once we've confirmed that we're going to be installing the DirectX runtime optional components, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. I wouldn't worry about it, so just click Next. So it's going to begin downloading. It shouldn't take very long. As you can see the estimated download time left is only about 20 seconds. Now if you're using dial-up or something, I can imagine it taking a little bit longer. You shouldn't really have to worry about it though in most cases, but just something to keep in mind. Okay, so it says the installation is complete, the components installed and are ready for use. Click Finish. And now reopen your web browser. And now I'm going to head back over to Google, because who doesn't like Google? And we are going to type in .NET Framework. 
I misspelled that there, but so one of the best search results that's not considered an ad would be for Microsoft, and it should say .NET downloads in the hyperlink. So you want to click on that. You want to make sure you're downloading it from the official Microsoft website again, like the other one. You want to select the first box here that says .NET Framework with the little Windows icon above. You want to scroll down where it says .NET Framework Only. The page itself is not very big, so you shouldn't have too hard of a time to find it. You want to find .NET Framework 4.6.2 at the time of this recording. There might be newer versions released when you watch it. This tutorial is not going to become out of date tomorrow when a new version of .NET Framework comes out, but just so we're keeping up to date for this specific tutorial. We're going to select 4.6.2. If there's something above it that's newer, you want to select that. So, like I said, I'm going to click on that. Should begin the download once you selected the language you want to install. Again, system requirements. And now note that it does not support Windows XP. You might have to download an older version of Net Framework if you're running Windows XP, which I ideally hope that most of you are not because Microsoft stopped supporting that over two years ago, almost three years now. So once we've confirmed our language, I'm going to click download here. Again, like the other download, except this one's a little bit bigger because it's not a web installer. It's going to be a little bit bigger of a download. I'm going to click save. Shouldn't take very long either, but just keep that in mind. Just a lot a few minutes for this whole process. I just wanted to walk it through with you guys, make it as simple as possible. Once it's finished downloading, you can click on Run. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your computer? Again, verified publisher. You'll want to check for that when you're downloading it. Make sure you're downloading the right one. It would be ideal. So click on Yes for the user account control window. And you can either close out if your web browser at this point or just minimize. It doesn't really matter because we are done with it. So right now the installer for Net Framework is just extracting the files. So it's just going to take a moment here. Just be patient. that I've actually already installed that NAP framework already in, on this computer. If it was not already installed, you would just follow along with the on-screen instructions. However, since I've already installed it, I can't over-install the same version. Obviously, you can't update to a new version if you're already running it. So, in this case, you're good. You wouldn't have to install that NAP framework. If you did not see this and then instead you saw a licensing agreement, you would select install and just go along with the on-screen instructions like I said. It's pretty self-explanatory. It would tell you the download process, how much it's been installed at this point, and you just would follow along with that. So we're really not missing anything out on this video. Again, if you get this kind of error, that means you've already installed it, it's nothing to worry about. So I would recommend once you're done installing everything, restart your computer and then try and run whatever application you were receiving this application error with. And hopefully it has been resolved for you. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.